Hello everyone, my name is Chef Yang Sun Lee. Today, we're going to have a cooking session presented by Korean Cultural Center of New York. Our theme for this session is street food and snacks. So I'm going to make kimchi arancini. Okay, arancini is fried rice ball. So first, I need to make the kimchi risotto. So I'm going to need about one cup-ish of onion. So I'm going to start melting two and a half tablespoons of butter right here. Add the onions. Pinches of a salt to get the cooking going. Cook the onion until it becomes uh, translucent. Meantime, so I have a boil water right here and then I'm gonna make the stock. Here's a thing called yondu. You just gotta put a little bit in, into the boiling water and then mix it and you have the stock in a few minutes. So I'm gonna add the rice. I'm gonna give it a stir. Your main goal is you wanna coat every single rice with butter and the onion. So right now it's time to add the stock. Okay, risotto, you wanna make sure you add the liquid little by little. And I'm gonna use mirin today to deglaze it. Right now you wanna make sure the rice absorbs all the liquid. So I'm gonna check. Just go like that. I don't see any liquid anymore. Start giving a little stir so they don't stick to the bottom. Now I'm gonna add stock. I'm almost there. Maybe I just gotta add maybe one or two more ladles. All right, so right now, I'm gonna lower the heat, so keep it warm. I'm gonna chop the kimchi using blender. So this is a um, little aged kimchi, little, tastes a little sour, okay? It's perfectly fine. Okay, so here. Very finely chopped. So I'm gonna add into risotto mixture, and then I'm gonna mix it in. Okay, my risotto is done. Transfer to the plate so they could cool down, so I could shape them later. Meantime, we're gonna make very simple spicy tomato sauce. I'm gonna add the tomato sauce in there. Crushed chili pepper, good one tablespoon. And then simmer for just a few minutes. Strain them after. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna cut the fontina cheese. Basically, you wanna cut off the rind, and then I'm gonna start dicing them. Here's my bowl for the egg. So this is about eight medium-sized eggs. So you wanna whisk it? I have the egg wash ready. I'm gonna go check my risotto. They're nicely cooled down. So I'm gonna make the mixture. I'm gonna add a little breadcrumb in there. Okay, so as you can see, they're literally becoming a ball. Okay, so first you make it into a little ball. You make it a little flat. And you put one cheese inside. Just like so, and then you wrap it around. Voila! Okay, so this one is ready to get bread. Okay, so you wanna just roll it. Flour, nicely coated, but you wanna gently shake them. And then you wanna put it in an egg mixture. And then you roll it in a breadcrumb. My fryer is set at 360. So I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce, something like this. I'm gonna start putting in the bowls. Kimchi puree a little bit on top. And then lots of Parmesan cheese. Okay, this is one plating. The other ones, so you could nicely put them in a little bowl. Okay, I'm out in there. Put a little puree in there too. Okay, just gonna put it in just like so. Sprinkle some cheese on the arancinis and some cheese on the sauce. I have the kimchi arancini today. So today, I'm gonna do a little uh, fusion, uh, which is kimchi grilled cheese. So first, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just trim the top of the scallion. I'm gonna have the root intact attached for right now, and then I'm gonna remove it later. Whenever you're blanching vegetables, make sure you put salt in it. 
put the white part first into the boiling water and I'm gonna put it in. It's gonna fit in there. Cook them just enough to make them soft, okay? Transfer them. I'm gonna put it in cold water, stopping the cooking process. So now I'm gonna remove the root. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little oil in there. Okay, so what you wanna hear, so I'm gonna start flipping them. And they're done. So I'm gonna chop this scallion roughly. It will help them blend better. Okay, so I got my scallion right here. Cream cheese been sitting out in room temperature for 30 minutes now. They're fairly soft. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix with more cream cheese. Trust me, this scallion cream cheese is really good. So here's my scallion cream cheese spread in the onion. Okay. This I'm gonna julienne them. I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt. Okay, and there's a yondu right here. I'm gonna give it a little massage. Like I say, I'm gonna start sauteing these. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a rough chop. Okay, not too big, not too small. So. Yeah. By doing this, I am giving rid of a lot of moisture right now, okay? So when you make your sandwich, it doesn't become very soggy, okay? And also by sauteing it, um, the pungentness from the um, kimchi goes away. I used to work at this restaurant where we specialize in grilled cheese. I used to make, I don't know, a few thousand grilled cheese. I think the best way to make it is utilizing oven, okay? So I have the oven on in 375 right now, okay? But if you don't like to use oven or if you don't have an oven, then you could just finish it on your pan, which is perfectly fine. So for the bread, I'm gonna use a brioche. Um, brioche has a lot of butter in it, so it's terms of flavor, so that's why I like it. Set the uh, grilled cheese right here. Butter, okay. Just a little bit on the outer side. I'm gonna put the scallion spread on just one side. Pickled onion on the other side. Now, I'm gonna put the cheddar cheese. Okay, so you're gonna put cheese on both sides and then Put the kimchi there. I like to put it like this way, like half here, half here. So when I fold it, they're fully covered. So this is an oven-proof pan, so it's perfectly fine to put it in. Nothing's gonna melt. So it goes in. You wanna put it in for a few minutes. The cheese is just started to you can see the moisture coming out, becoming a soft right now. Gently close this. Whoop. You don't want to press too much, then you're going to actually crush the bread. Again, check the bottom. Okay, it's starting to get color a little bit. You could use like this kind of a ball to create like a dome. So you could trap the air inside. Okay, so uh, normally the tradition way of a uh, American grilled cheese is they, they serve it with um, tomato soup. But here, I have Korean pumpkin soup. Okay, so our grilled cheese is done. I'm gonna put into this bowl. i cut the sandwich. I'm gonna cut it a little diagonal, just like so. Very nice. Here. Kimchi grilled cheese with pumpkin soup. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys make this at home. Thank you again. Have a good one.